What's up guys, Sila here with another guide for you. This is going to be on my purple transmog set that I've been using. A lot of people have asked me on my videos of recently, like, where the hell did you get this set from? It looks awesome. So I'm going to cover where you get the pieces for the set, weapons that you could use that match the set, and all the other things that you need to know. So, it is a plate set, so it's usable by warriors, death knights, and paladins. It isn't class bound, so it's not just for paladins. It's very similar to the old tier 2 set, the judgment set for paladins, which was orange. Except this is a, a reskin version that drops from TBC dungeons and is accessible to everyone. So for the first couple of pieces, you want to head to Hellfire Peninsula. And we're going to be doing heroic rampards. Now, there's two pieces that can drop from here, but they're both on heroic only. So you're only going to get one shot at these per day. And you want to head to Omar the Unscarred, which is the second or third boss in here. I think you get the achievement for killing this. For completing the dungeon, even though it's like the second boss. It's a bit weird anyway. But this will have an, around a 16% chance of dropping your shoulders. So you do need this boss, you can't skip it out. And next up, we've got the last boss of this dungeon, which will have around a 20% chance of dropping the gloves. But once again, this is a heroic mode only. So you're only going to get one shot at this a day. The gloves actually took me quite a while to get. I spent a good couple of weeks just farming this one dungeon just to get the gloves. You do need the gloves as you look a bit hard without the gloves to prefer. Although there are quite a lot of purple replacement gloves, but you want the set of gloves. They look much better. So once you've killed the boss, you'll loot this chest and you'll have a chance of getting the gloves. The next place we're going to head to is Blood Furnace, which is just up the ramp in Hellfire Peninsula. And once again, this is going to be a heroic mode dungeon only. Now, this place drops the wrists. The wrists aren't that important for the set. So, if you do want them, be my guest. It's heroic only, so you're only going to get one chance to do this per day. But you don't need them. Only if you want to be a perfectionist and have the pieces, even though you can't actually see the wrists. But yeah, once you're here, click this lever and it'll release the mobs that you have to kill and then eventually the boss. The next one is in Terracar Forest, and you want to do the Shadow Labs dungeon. Now this used to require a key to get inside, but that's recently been removed, so you don't need to do that anymore. And this is a dungeon that you can do on normal difficulty, or heroic, but why do it on heroic? You might as well do it on normal. So, you want the third boss in here, but the second boss is this one. And it's going to have a room full of mobs, and if you basically pull the boss, it will pull the whole room of mobs. So you want to be careful, don't just rush in if you don't know what you're getting yourself in for. It's, even though it's normal, you may still die depending on your class. And once you've killed that, you'll head to the third boss, which will have roughly a 17% chance of dropping the chest, which is quite important, you need that for the set. The next place we're going to head to is in Zangda Marsh, and there's three dungeons here that can drop loot, so it's pretty good. The first one we're going to head to is Steam Vaults. Now this can be done on heroic or normal difficulty. And this is the place that's going to drop your helm. If you don't want to show the helm, then you're not going to need this. But the helm looks pro, so I'd recommend getting that. And the boss that you want in here is Mechana Steam Rigger. As you can see this dude. Once again, you can do it on normal difficulty, so you'll have quite a lot of chance of getting this. It is on a 22% drop rate, and the dungeon doesn't take that long to complete, so it's all good. Once you've got that out of the way, you want to head to... Underbog, and it's the first boss in Underbog, and he's going to drop your legs, but this is heroic mode, you need to be doing this dungeon on heroic, you see you're only going to get one chance at it a day, and it is on around a 15% drop rate, I had quite a lot of trouble getting the legs as well, so yeah, but once again it doesn't take you that long to clear, so it's not too bad. The next one we have is Slave Pens, and in Slave Pens you will find the waste. Now I've still not got this waste but there's a lot of alternatives. The one that I'm using at the moment is the PvP plate belt from level 70. So yeah there's quite a few alternatives for belts so you don't have to worry too much about that. But yeah the, the belt that matches with the set looks much better. And finally we have Hillsbrad Foothills which is located in the Caverns of Time. This needs to be on heroic difficulty and it is the second boss in here. I've not shown you the full dungeon run because this dungeon's long and a pain in the backside. 
So, once again, this drops the boots. There are a lot of alternatives for boots, and because the set is like a, a skirt, basically, you can't really see the boots, so this is one of the pieces that I've skipped out on. And once again, I think I'm using PvP boots, which are purplish. So yeah, now to run through this dungeon you have to speak to, don't forget to pick up the bombs and speak to the drake and you have to fly around and basically say Frowl and it'll be, once you've freed Frowl on your way out, the captain will confront you and you have to kill him. That's the boss that will drop the boots. So once you've got all your pieces, you're going to uh, gonna need a tabard or a weapon. The tabard I'm using is the purple trophy tabard of the Eladara. Now, I do have another guide showing you how to get this tabard, it'll be in the description below, so go check that out. And in terms of weapons, as a axe, you want the Blood Drainer from AQ Forte. Now, this is a trash drop, it's on quite a low drop rate, but that's what I was using for an axe. It's just because it's one of the few purple axes that you can get that looks pretty good. In terms of weapons, as a sword, two-handed sword, I'd probably go for Despair, which is from Karazhan the Opera event. Or you could go for the Shard, which is from Mana Tombs on Normal Mode. It doesn't look too bad. And in terms of Maces for two-handers, I'd probably use the Hammer of the Naru, which is from Gruul's Lair, the first boss. And they're all purpley Maces, but basically you want a purple weapon. You can't go wrong with a purple weapon, although I'm not transmogging any weapons at all at the moment, because I have the big... Deathwing Sword for E-Peens. So I hope this guide helps you out and I hope you now know where to get all the set pieces from. Thanks for watching guys and look out for more guides coming soon. See ya!